to my channel. Today I have a monthly March message for all of the Sagittariuses out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with every single Sagittarius out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I am a psychic intuitive, a spiritual coach, and a sound healing practitioner. So without further ado, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and dive right into your monthly message. So Sagittarius, we are starting out with the thinker. Okay, you're going to be doing a lot of thinking about your sense of safety and your sense of security. Divine Matrix. Okay, already we have two 44s. So Sagittarius, you have quite a reading so far. Next, we have Root Girl, the Disowned Self. Okay, Sagittarius, this is what I'm picking up for you. It's already a deep, intense message. I feel that this month, you're going to be doing a lot of thinking about how you yourself have felt um, unappreciated, unloved, um, felt unsupported in so many different ways. And I feel that this is stemming from... Um, an inner child wound here with the root girl, the disowned self. I feel that you're not truly honoring your own authenticity. I feel that you've got a lot of wounds. Um, maybe there's this sense of not being safe, feeling like you're not safe in some way. And this is why all of this is coming up. I do want to point out that when I'm filming this, we just had the new moon in Pisces. And it's still within that you know, two to four day window when energies are going to be very intense. I do feel that this month is really about you really learning to love yourself in a way that no one else can love you or support you or honor you in any way. The thing about the divine matrix is that the divine matrix really speaks about a higher power and it speaks about the, it's, it's basically the realm of spirit. It's about the knowledge that we are all divine beings interconnected to a divine source. And it's about you understanding that your life and your experiences is a part of the tapestry of life. I feel that's ultimately important for you to understand here, Sagittarius. Understand that the reality or the dreams that you create in the mind ultimately become a part of your reality in the physical, right? And so I feel that if in your mind you see yourself in a very, uh, like you see yourself in a very withered, poor state, you feel, you know, <clears throat> unloved, unnurtured, all that thing. If you're, if that's how you see yourself, then ultimately that's what will be reflected back to to you here. Okay. I feel that's ultimately what you need to understand and understand that, that the reason this is coming forward is because you're needing to accept things as they are in order for you to heal things so that you can create something better in your dream state and in your mind. Does this make sense? Like you need to be able to, I mean, look at this. You have 44, 44. Number one, that is a married number. 44, I, I would definitely look up the number 44 and then look up the angel number 4444. Mirrored numbers is this high spiritual frequency energy that you're needing to understand thing at a much higher vibrational frequency. 46 reduces to a one. So it's about the self, right? And one is about a new beginning. So I feel that, that where you are right now, when you are watching this, Understand that the month of March is really about you coming into an awareness of how the thoughts that you create, that, that your thoughts ultimately create your sense of self. And 
and and the things that you think about yourself ultimately need to be evaluated and you need to create a new story for yourself now the true the 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 in depth meaning of the root girl is recognizing that that which you see on the outside is not what is reflected on the inside okay this is really about a need to love and accept and own the part of you that is wounded, the part of you that has been disowned, the part of you that feels all of this rage, all of this hurt, all of this anger. This is the part of you that you are needing to accept here, Sagittarius. And this is about you needing to come together with the that that higher aspect of yourself or your spirit team or divine source energy and sort of rebuild this connection and create a new vision for yourself. So let's go ahead and dive into the tarot here Sagittarius and see what we got for you. So we are starting off with the chariot. Okay, so the chariot really speaks about our will, our sheer will, our ability to be able to push through any circumstance. Here's the thing. No matter what obstacles we face in life, right, our willpower will help us push through any obstacle, any challenge, anything that you ultimately face. You now have the Eight of Wands, which really speaks about the type of action and the type of energy. Here's the thing. I feel that your thoughts ultimately speak to you in a way. They communicate messages to you so rapidly here, Sagittarius, that it's almost like instantaneously you see it in your physical reality and you see it in yourself, right? And... It's, it's that instantaneousness that often deflates you. It, it, it makes you feel like I can't, I can't win. I can't, you know, do anything, right? But here's what I need you to understand. You have the capacity with your will, divine will, divine will, that divine aspect of you to change what you are communicating to yourself based off of your thoughts. Next, you have the two of pentacles. Understand that this energy, it's really about finding that balance, right? We have multiple thoughts in a day, Sagittarius. So it trying to get you to control your thoughts is like trying to ask you to stop flowing water from flowing. It's, it's not feasible, right? So understand that this is about finding balance. It's about riding the wave of what comes by and really focusing in on what you're going to really focus, what you're going to work on, what takes priority and what doesn't. Understand that there's going to be highs and lows, right? You, it's not going to automatically change overnight, Sagittarius. It really is not. And it's really about you just finding that balance. It's about riding that wave and understanding that there are some things that are worth challenging and there are others that are not, right? So next you have the Five of Swords. Okay. The thing about the Five of Swords, it's about learning the lesson in the experience. And I feel a lot of times that can be a challenge because our mind can play so many tricks on us. And it often, I mean, swords is really about our thoughts. It's really about our mind. So I, again, Sagittarius, I want to ask you, what's, what is the story that you keep repeating to yourself? Because understand that that story is beating you up every single time and it's winning. At every cost. It doesn't matter how much it cuts you, how much it hurts you, nothing, right? And so understanding that it isn't always about winning and understand that it isn't about you defeating that story. It's about you overcoming that story, about that story not um, having an effect on you anymore because you can, you've overcome it. You have looked at it from a perspective of this is what you've taught me and now I'm going to do something different, right? So understand that 
this is really about you taking charge. You really truly taking charge with this page of wands and um, starting a new story. Um, understanding, seeing your worth, seeing your value, recognizing that you're not where you want to be and that's okay um, because it's going to take you some time, right? Next, we have the Seven of Swords. Now, here's the thing. The Seven of Swords is, is often referred to as the lying, the cheating. It's the deception card. And what I want to ask you here, Sagittarius, is how are you deceiving yourself, right? Because I feel that if your intention isn't clear about what it is you are trying to do, then everything that is not true is going to really come to the forefront and it's going to continuously mock you and it's going to call you out until you see it for what it is. So again, this is really about you overcoming this perception, this view that you are this disowned girl, that you're this disowned person that has no value, that has no worth, that has no love. And this is what it's trying to reflect to you. So everything that you are experiencing in your life is merely a reflection of what you think of yourself. So this is what you're having to change. So let's dive a little bit deeper. Okay, so our first card is the seven of inspiration, which is the seven of wands. So this is about standing in your power. This is about seeing your light and being willing to do what is required of you to stand in that light. Be willing to shine on yourself and shine any area on yourself that needs that love, that attention. Again, remember, you're being challenged here to really think outside the box because I feel that no matter what, you're still um, focusing, you're laser focusing in on this shadow aspect, right? And this is what's needing to be reborn. We now have the six of emotions, which is the six of cups. So this is about you know, maybe this is something from your childhood. Maybe you didn't have the type of upbringing that you would have loved. Maybe that was something you didn't experience. But maybe what you should do is instead of looking at all the bad things that transpired when you were younger, find the things that you that have great memories, that bring you a sense of love, that bring you a sense of joy. Focus on those things and really, you know, try to let that feed you um, to helping you heal this perception of yourself. Next, you have awakening. Okay, so awakening is judgment. And I feel that you have been judging yourself for way too long. I think that you put a lot of self-criticism um, on yourself here, Sagittarius. And I feel this is what you need to recognize. Recognize that you being self-critical and you bashing yourself isn't helping you heal. If anything, it's just re-solidifying what you've already thought about yourself. Um, and so this is what you're needing to change. I feel like you're needing to change that story. Change the story that's been playing in your mind over and over and over again um, so that you can learn. Learn from your mistakes. I feel ultimately that's the important thing. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from those experiences. Next, we have the four of voices, which is the four of swords. I feel that you ultimately this month need to be very gentle with yourself. I, I want to point out that this month is really about self-care. And you need to take the necessary steps towards resting this month. Don't try to do everything all at once because I want to point out here, Sagittarius, that doing internal work and doing healing takes time. It isn't something that is done overnight. It isn't something that just automatically happens. It, it takes time. And look at this. You got two fours side by side. Again, bringing in that 44 number. So I would highly advise you here, Sagittarius, to look up the number of 44. 
Know that fours represent our sense of stability, our sense of security and safety. Um, it's a, our sense of being foundational, right? And the one thing I just heard in my mind here, um, Sagittarius, is what foundation have you built for yourself? The foundation of who you believe yourself to be is the foundation that will be built in your physical reality. So that's something really important to think about. As you go through this month, be this is about self-care, okay? I want to point that out. Um, you have the Four of Wands, which is about rebuilding this foundation of yourself. The Four of Wands is a celebration. It's a celebration of coming together with like-minded individuals, but celebrating something. And I want to point out that this is about you creating a more solid, loving, affirming foundation for yourself um, because that is what is the most important. Again, you need to leave behind with this five of emotions, this five of cups. You need to leave behind the, the life that you've lost. You need to leave behind all of the sadness and the, the mourning of not having the type of upbringing that you wanted or that you felt you should have had. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's now up to you to change that. And, and you have a choice. You can either stay in this self-loathing or you can choose a new direction that is more intentional with self-love to build a better foundation because that is what you deserve. So Sagittarius, this is your message this month. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Bye guys. Thank you.